Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 4th, 2021. Well, yesterday, my goodness, we had quite a volatile, volatile beginning to the year with a big, nasty whipsaw. Um, if you took a look at that um, yesterday, let's go to, I'm going to grab a 15-minute chart. You can see in here from the time we gapped up in the morning from our high to our low, we had an amazing move of more than 200 points. It was actually more like 250 points from that high to the low in the whipsaw here in the Dow. And then we continued to just kind of bounce around in the market as if we were trying to make a decision before we finally picked up and those bulls really surged into the afternoon, picking us back up. So what did that do? Well, we set a new record high, new record closing high in the diamonds yesterday and um, continue to push right into the close of the market. So let's take a look at these um, index uh, technicals and see what we can uh, gain from that. If you take a look right in here and kind of draw this out there, we are quite elevated in this move. Um, we have moved up so much so fast that there is a little bit of concern about how far we have moved so quickly. But I got to tell you, that being said, we have a very bullish pattern right here in the diamonds chart holding price support continuing to push higher and it looks like this morning we're going to gap up again and push on higher one of the things i want to continue to caution though as we continue to gap to new highs and those bulls nothing seems to matter here that's just buy 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 you want to watch for that possibility of that breakout that pop and drop because these uh, point value moves are so hard um, so large it could be a very painful move if you jump and chase in first thing in the morning and then see those sellers come into play so watch that carefully here in the chart but you got to give this up to the bulls the bulls are in control new record highs here in the Dow if we take a look at our spy our SPY remarkable um, pattern here in the chart. We are, again, a little bit stretched. I'm gonna kind of leave this abandoned baby out of the mix here, just kind of picking up that trend. But notice how far we have stretched up in such a short period of time and off the trends here in the chart. But if we take a look at this pattern, this nice resting consolidation pattern, it's nothing more than a pop out of the box pattern and one of my favorite patterns to trade. Although we are stretched, that is a very, very bullish pattern in the market. And once again, we're trying to gap up here in the market open. Interesting pattern here on the SPY. We have had um, um, that kind of pulling back here this morning um, in the pre-market um, after a pretty substantial gap but watch that carefully now once again we want to watch for that possibility as we as we kind of get excited about the market run of chasing in and rushing into stocks that possibility of a pullback or consolidation certainly has um, a place here to be considered in the market and then if we take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq has lagged a little bit behind no record highs yet in um, the nasdaq but we did challenge this resistance level in the chart that i talked about yesterday we broke down below it there for a bit in the morning and then pushed back up showing the the resiliency here of those bulls just really fighting to stay in here and a big portion of this move um, yesterday was pretty much apple um, apple made a big move yesterday uh, becoming the first three trillion market cap company it is now a uh, has a PE ratio of over 31 which is more than 10 points above its five-year average and it is a full 7% of the S&P 500 all on its own so pretty remarkable um, in that move. One has to wonder what happens if um, it stumbles on earnings. Um, but watch that closely. As, as you can see, we're very, very strong here 
um, in this chart. Uh, now our pattern breaking higher here, we really don't have a trend to work with here because of this um, W type formation in the chart. So we may have to come back to here to try and gain some trend. And once again, that suggests that possibility that we could still see a little bit more consolidation in that chart. You do wanna keep in mind that we, although we held this price support in here, we still have these price resistance levels in the chart above that have rejected here in the recent past. So watch those closely. And then if we take a look at the Russell, IWM had an interesting day yesterday. It surged up to test its 50 day moving average and then midday completely reversed that and had a shooting star pattern only to reverse that once again, pushing back up pretty strongly. So we still have this major resistance level in the chart and that happens to be right there at that 50 day moving average. I still say the IWM is the most bearish of uh, the markets out there, of the indexes out there and could be a little bit of a leading indicator here in the market. Um, IWM used to serve as a leading indicator for the market of that weakness um, that is showing up here. So watch that closely, that 50 day moving average. Notice it is in a slight decline and so far it's putting a lid here on the IWM. So you want to watch that closely. If we were to happen to pop and drop, that could really be that signal to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX kind of hovered around. It, it, um, by about 30 minutes before the close of the day, we still hadn't been able to break down below the lows of this little resting consolidation here. Notice we'd spiked up yesterday on that selling whipsaw, but then reversed back down and we were able to close lower. So we are moving this VIX lower. Fear seems to be dropping out of the market. But I got to tell you, the more we continue to stretch to the upside, um, and the more exuberant the market becomes, I become a little bit more cautious um, because I think we're reaching that frenzied point here in the market. And notice that although we're setting new record highs, we're not setting new lows in the VIX. So there is that little bit of concern here in that chart. Now that being said, there's nothing here that is bearish. And notice we've broken that trend. We have some little support levels in this chart and a major support level down here. So could we certainly on this gap up open even uh, push all the way down in here? Yes, so watch carefully for that. We could soon be setting new lows in the VIX as we continue to just power higher here in um, the indexes. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, our T2122 continues to signal that we are overbought. In this gap up this morning, we're going to be right up here, um, almost maxed out in our T2122. So that is a concern for us. We're showing that overbought condition and that possibility that we could run into a little bit of profit taking. Doesn't mean that we have to collapse, but we could see just a little bit of profit taking if those bears happen to show up. So watch that carefully. Now there are times, and I want to point this out, there are times when we can linger up here. Notice these periods of time over here where T2122 lingered up here in that high um, high area. So we we certainly have that possibility. We could linger in these highs and continue to press. But I do want to caution you, we eventually, as we um, play that out, we eventually break that down um, from that overbought condition. So what that means is we could linger up here in a consolidation. We could also see that full on reversal occur. And unfortunately, we've opened a pretty big door to the downside if those bears were to engage for some reason. And I don't know what that might be. Um, um, we clearly don't care about valuations. We don't care. Um, uh, COVID doesn't bother us anymore. Um, any of those things um, just seems to be, um, well, we just don't, don't pay much attention to it. So inflation doesn't matter. So watch that closely here um, today. We'll, we'll see how we respond here as we go on. Let's take a look at some of these internals. And there's still some of these internals um, 
that bother me. Now we had a nice improvement in T2108 yesterday. So a nice little surge up here in T2108, but let's take a look at that chart. We're just slamming right back into a whole bunch of consolidation here in the chart. And let's keep in mind that we're setting new record highs here in the chart and we continue to decline in this T2108. We have fewer and fewer stocks participating as we set new record highs. Kind of a remarkable situation here in the market. And you know that $3 trillion cap valuation of Apple is one of those reasons. We keep pushing high flyers higher and higher and higher. And even though that's happening, we're seeing some rotation into safety uh, by the institutions. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. So as we look at that, we, we do have that concern, or I have that concern. You may not be concerned at all, and that's perfectly fine. I have that concern that our internals really aren't supporting these high valuations of the market. And then if we take a look at T2107, we have a similar situation. Although we did improve yesterday, we rallied, and that is a good sign. As we rallied, we still have a broken the downtrend here, T2107. We still have about 55% of our stocks are below their 200 day moving average overall. Now that just seems remarkable to me that we're setting new market highs with that many stocks below their 200 day. That may not mean anything if we can continue to push through and break this and hold as support. Maybe we're just in that full on recovery mode and every, you know, all systems are go to the upside. That may be the case. But what we want to watch, we've seen this before where we popped out and then just couldn't hold and reversed back to the downside. Now we have created a little bit of price support right through here in that chart. So if we were to pull back, it doesn't necessarily mean we have to swing all the way to the lows. And, and maybe we do need to just go into a little bit of a consolidating move and kind of hold this area in here um, and rest in the market, spill off a little bit of this volatility. But it is an interesting circumstance that we continue to set new record highs in the market with fewer and fewer stocks participating in that move. Now let's take a look at our T2101. Our T2101 acted pretty much as you would expect yesterday as we continued to rally to the upside. Our market breadth pulled back just a little bit. We continue to hold above this consolidation area in the chart so our market breadth um, remains um, elevated above that um, as we uh, broke out. Um, in this area. So let's keep a close eye on that. If we continue to surge to the upside, we would normally see that market breadth just kind of diminish back down. Doesn't mean bearishness in it, just a little bit of uh, breadth decrease. Remember, we when we climb in the market, we typically go up um, on an escalator. When we fall, we typically take the elevator shaft to the downside, and that changes that breadth reading pretty dramatically. So as we continue to move up, that breadth normally pulls back in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a couple things we're going to want to be paying attention to and a potential market mover. First off, notice we've got an OPEC meeting starting today. Their announcement on, on oil production could be important to those um, oil sector stocks. And those oil sector stocks saw a nice surge yesterday. Um, so pretty, pretty substantial surge yesterday, which um, adds to the worry of inflation as oil goes up. But we'll want to watch um, the results from that meeting, how that may affect that oil sector um, as we progress forward. And then we've got this ISM number. Um, uh, ISM manufacturing number is expected by um, Econo Day consensus to decline just slightly. But um, I'm not sure that will matter. We'll want to watch that number pretty closely. Um, and then we've got the job openings report. And believe it or not, um, Econo Day consensus is suggesting the job openings report continues to move up and um, nobody seems to be interested in taking those jobs. So watch that closely here um, as we progress through the day. Keep in mind as you plan forward, guys, we're gonna hit ADP tomorrow. We got ADP numbers coming out. We're gonna have a petroleum status and we're gonna have FOMC minutes. So keep in mind that there is often that period of time 
where that uncertainty on those things uh, perk up and we could start to see a little bit of rest or light choppy price action as we head into some of those numbers. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar doesn't have a whole lot going on. We've got four. Yesterday afternoon we only had three confirmed um, reports for today. Today we have four and we really only have one that is um, particularly notable. Um, take a look, we have ANIX will be reporting today a $3 stock. Uh, not exactly um, a notable stock here in the market. Um, MLKN um, will be reporting today. A bit more on the notable side, notice that MLKN is um, in a um, substantial downtrend with a recent rally here. We're up here testing, so watch that as that reports. Um, and that reports um, after the market, which by the way, all of the reports today are after the market. And SGH, SGH is the most notable of today and that will re be reporting after the bell today. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, um, you know what to do as we have um, repeated this over and over and over in the videos. If this is the first time you've seen the, these videos and want to support the channel, please click that um, subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could do me that favor as well, clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow now i apologize yesterday i got so involved in um, the right way options trading room um, with folks that i didn't get um, um, all of those um, comments answered yesterday but i'll be back on the stick here today and get those comments answered thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel that way and also thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link if you're not a member of hit and run candlesticks and right way options and want to support this kind of content that's the way to do that and you'll find that link just below the title of the video so thank you to everyone who does support the channel that way you guys are awesome Awesome. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and make very, very sure you understand the risk of these trades. Let's take a look. Um, Ford um, really made a nice move here yesterday, breaking through. This is one of those patterns that I love to trade. Unfortunately, it moved with a big gap up open, which increased the risk on the trade. But the pattern right here is breaking through resistance and that nice little resting consolidation. I call it the pop out of the box and I would set a price alert right up here and try to catch into that trade. Ford moving up and continuing to stretch on up. In fact, there was um, um, a report on this today that Ford actually outpaced Tesla in its growth so far last year and continues to show um, lots of bullishness here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that Ford pushing to the upside and looking very, very good. Um, as you guys know, I have mentioned Visa in the past and Visa made a nice move yesterday. And there's that pattern again where we push up, we hold in a consolidation above support and then push on through to the upside. There's that pop out of the box. This one would have been a much easier one to get into and notice just placing a price alert right there um, gets you into that trade nice and early and that looks like it could follow through to the upside. So keep an eye on Visa. Now I mentioned Visa, I'm gonna to have to mention MasterCard. MasterCard had a big surge yesterday, not as clean a chart. Notice how sloppy and, and uh, big price swings that we're seeing here in MasterCard. But I gotta tell you, there's that pattern again, that push up, that nice little consolidation, holding above support pop. Now we have some re resistance in this chart that you'll have to be aware of, but MasterCard looking pretty good here on the day. Take a look at um, Monster, um, whoops, 
um, take a look at Monster Beverages. Monster had a little bit of a push down first thing in the morning and then reversed back to the upside sharply. So take a look at that. We've broken through re some resistance in the chart and we do have more resistance over here that we have to be made aware of that we are approaching. Right now, Monster's a pretty good looking chart continuing to show that bullishness, albeit a bit stretched out in the short term. You know, when I see a trend trajectory like this, I just know it can't be sustained for forever. So I want to watch carefully on that. But what we're seeing is a lot of these consumer defensive stocks are showing lots and lots of strength. And if you take a look at XLP, XLP is the consumer staples area. And you can see XLP breaking through resistance, had a little volatility in that move yesterday, popping around here. But as you can see, it recovered nicely, continued continuing on up those consumer defensive and consumer just those old boring companies showing lots of bullish support here in the chart so watch that carefully if you take a look over here you'll see a lot of those like coca-cola reversing moving higher breaking out new highs estee lauder nice little consolidation break in here pushing on higher here this morning we've got schmuckers um, um, who'd have thought jelly would be turning around and this is that indication guys that institutions are rotating into more of the safety type stocks so we're seeing this big surge in these old boring dividend paying companies that's something to be paid attention to philip morris is another one of those that i wanted to put on the chart notice i had a price alert in this chart right here We've pushed on through to the upside. And now as we approach this uh, or pop through this resistance right in here, I would look for some kind of a rest consolidation and another opportunity as this rest or pulls back toward this trend. Look for that next opportunity into Philip Morris. And there's a lot of these stocks doing that kind of thing. Boy, they don't get much more boring than Kellogg's. And notice that Kellogg's moving up. We've got Constellation brands just ripping to the upside. But I will give you a warning here um, on the 6th, um, um, Constellation will be reporting. So you'll want to keep that in mind. But stocks like Archer Daniels, breaking through resistance levels. These are basic companies, consumer defensive companies showing lots and lots of strength. So keep a close eye on those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. And I truly, truly appreciate all of the support. Remember, guys if there's something that you would like me to cover if there's something that you'd like me to talk about in these uh, morning preps please just leave a comment in um, on the video and I um, would be happy to oblige if I can do it um, I want to wish you all the very very best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning